What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through some more comic books, and as you guys know, I absolutely love Spider-Man, so today is going to be all of Spider-Man. Now most of these are from the 90s, there is a few Spectacular Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, and near the ends, I'm going to be sharing with you some foil covers, and in the future, with a whole bunch of different comics like Spider-Man, Incredible Hulk, etc, etc. I am going to be sharing a bunch of the more spectacular comics, more of the foil comics, or more valuable comics in a future video. So this one here is going to be all Spider-Man, mostly from the 90s. Now I, I am trying to debate whether or not I want to keep these for my personal collection or if I want to sell them. The intent of buying the lot was to flip them for profit. That's what I'd like to do on my channel here and like to get some extra money. But I don't know. I absolutely love Spider-Man. Some of these sets are very interesting, so I might have to decide to keep some of them or keep them all or just sell them all to make some money. But regardless, these were in order by the time I got from the other room to here. For some reason, they're not in order now. Uh, and there's about 50 of them, so we're just going to get straight into it here. Up first, we have Spider-Man issue 46. This is part one of Beware the Rage of a Desperate Man. So that seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks like Hobgoblin got uh, unmasked here. That might be very interesting. That might be something that I may have to keep for myself. Next, we have issue 47, part two of the continuation. That looks great. I absolutely love the artwork of these comics, even into the 90s. At first, when I started collecting, I didn't really care for the 90s. Now I tend to mainly stick with the 90s. So I don't know, it's something that I absolutely love. The Demon Goblin in this one. This is issue 48, part three. And we do have the finale as well, issue 49. The finale. That's really cool. Cold Heart. Introducing Cold Heart. Not familiar with her. But really cool comic. Love the artwork. Next up, we're going to be going to issue 38. This is part one of three for Light the Night. With Electro. Which I don't have many comics that have Electro in it. So this might be something that I do keep for myself. Not 100% sure. But that does look like a cool comic. Now we're doing uh, issue 39, part 2 of Light the Night. That just looks cool. Spider-Man getting electrocuted. That looks awesome. And we do have the conclusion, issue 40. Which again, looks amazing. I absolutely love this artwork. So at least this set here, I might have to keep for myself. Because I don't think I have any comics that have Electro in them. And that would be really cool to have. Next, we have Spider-Man issue 32, Vengeance Part 1, with, of course, we have the Punisher here. I absolutely love the Punisher, but I don't have too much of his comics in my personal collection. Uh, we do have Part 2, issue 33, Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man. This comic here, I actually have in my collection. Number one, I do like crossovers. Number two, I do like interesting and intriguing uh, covers and this one here spider-man vs. spider-man is definitely up my alley and that's why I have this single comic in my collection but I might have to keep the whole collection uh, this whole uh, set so I have it complete next we have issue 34 that looks crazy it literally looks like Punisher is shooting at Spider-Man. So I definitely want to read this comic at least, or if not, keep it for my personal collection. That way I always have it. Next we have uh, issue 29, Mad Dog Ward Part 1. So I am not sure what this is. Definitely going to have to check that out. We might have to keep that. We have Part 2 here, issue 30. The artwork looks just amazing. Uh, issue 31, the conclusion, that kind of looks like Atomination, Abomination, I don't even know what I said the first time, but uh, kind of also doesn't, so I'm not 100% sure there. We have Storm Warnings, Part 1, this is issue 41 with Iron Fist, which I do have some with Iron Fist in them, just, uh, I don't know, I might have to keep this, might not. We have Part 2. Issue 42, artwork looks amazing. I'm not sure who they're facing here, but that does look really cool. And we do have, I'm not sure if this is in the conclusion or not, but issue 43 looks like the conclusion. 
And again, I'm not sure who these guys are at the top here. Look like uh, gladiator helmets, but it's uh, really, really cool concepts. Now we're moving on to some older comics. This is the Spectacular Spider-Man issue 158. This looks really cool. This is up my alley. This is what I used to collect and strictly co co collect. It just looks awesome. I love the artwork here. Next we have Web of Spider-Man issue 80. I'm not familiar with this guy here. Comment down below who it is, but that artwork looks amazing. That's usually what drives me towards collecting these comics. Uh, we have Web of Spider-Man 61. Spider-Man's suit is burning up there. That's really cool. And we have Web of Spider-Man 60. And it does have Doctor Doom on it, which I absolutely do love Doctor Doom. That's usually what I try to collect, is ones that have him in it, or uh, cameos, or different things like that. So that's really cool on its own. We do have uh, Spider-Man 16, X-Force joins Spider-Man. So it's actually supposed to be like this for the artwork, which looks amazing. So very cool issue right there. I think I do have that one in my personal collection. Uh, we have Spider-Man 14, uh, Subsidy Part 2 of 2. I don't think I have Part 1. Uh, no, I don't have Issue 13 here, unless it's mixed in. But it's uh, Morbius. It's really cool. This one here I do have in my personal collection. Issue 17 with Thanos looking like he's crushing Spider-Man. That just looks amazing. I absolutely love Thanos, one of my favorite villains in the MCU, but uh, don't have too many of his covers, so I do have this one already in my personal collection. Next up, we have issue 24. This is amazing. I absolutely love this. Look how crazy that looks. One of my favorites. I believe I have that in my collection as well. And then we have Spider-Man issue 25, which again, I do have this one single in my own personal collection because that just looks amazing with uh, Excalibur. That's really cool. We have issue 27. Spider-Man is being shot at. Very nice comic. We have issue seven with Ghost Rider. Now, we do have some Ghost Rider comics, so if you guys want to see Ghost Rider in the future, let me know because I will be able to make a video or two of Ghost Rider. Next up, we have Perceptions Part 1 of 5, Spider-Man Issue 8. We have Part 2 of 5. This one includes Wolverine Issue 9. Has a little bend on the bottom here, though. Not a huge fan of that. We have Issue 10. Part 3 of 5, Wolverine again on the cover. We have issue 11, part 4 of 5, which that just looks really cool. That just looks like a great comic to me. I love the artwork. And we have the conclusion, part 5 of 5. Fighting alongside Wolverine. I love Wolverine, I love X-Men, uh, I also love Fantastic Four, so whenever I see crossovers with different comics with those characters included, I tend to keep them for myself. Next we have issue 18, uh, Revenge of the Sinister Six, part one. Which I do have this complete set in my personal collection, so I know this set will be uh, to be sold. We have issue 19, part two of six. That just looks cool. We have Hulk on the front. Uh, Electro, that is awesome. I absolutely love that. We have issue 20, part 3 of 6, 21, 4 of 6, 22, 5 of 6. This is one of my favorite covers for the whole set. Uh, it just looks, number one, there's a lot going on, but it does look amazing in my opinion. And we have the conclusion, 6 of 6, issue 23, which looks amazing. Absolutely love this set. I have it in my personal collection, so now I do have one for sale. Uh, we do have the Cosmetic, uh, the Cosmic Spectacular Spider-Man issue 160. I almost said 120 there. A little bit of a stutter, but it's really cool comic. We have issue 45. This is Pursuit Part 1 which I can't tell uh, who died there, but really cool. 
44. These obviously aren't in order. So we have Pursuit Part 1. This is issue 44. Then we have issue 36 with Carnage there, which looks really cool. It's not a complete set, it's just the comic. We have issue 35, part 4 of 14 of Maximum Carnage, which I would love to have a complete set of that, but some of them are hard to find. We have issue 28 of Spider-Man. That looks amazing. That's something that's right up my alley. Look at all of the handguns and everything. That looks amazing. The artwork, the detail, everything is spot on. Absolutely love that. Uh, so I believe I do have Pursuits, the complete sets, but I don't know, I must have missed them and not grabbed them because we're nearing the end of this video. So we have issue 50 of Spider-Man, which looks amazing. You have Craven here in the eyes. I also have issue 50, that is the foil cover. So the eyes of Spider-Man are foilized, which looks really cool. That I already have in my personal collection, along with the one that's not foilized. We have Spectacular Spider-Man 189, the foil cover, which looks awesome. One of my favorite sets. I actually have this complete set in my collection, which also includes Web of Spider-Man number 90. And Spider-Man 26. It also includes the black cover, which is the first appearance of the futuristic Spider-Man as well, which I have in my personal collection, but I don't have any for sale. All these comics here, other than some of the sets and some of the individual ones that I might keep for myself, most of these are going to be sold, and I'm likely going to get anywhere from three to five dollars per comic because Spider-Man in my area is very hot, very popular, and people tend to buy them up fairly quick. So likely sell them around $3, but I might list them a little bit high at first. And all of the foil covers at least are going to be saved because I think I'll be able to get a little bit more of them if I list them all together in the future or price them out individually on eBay. I haven't quite decided, but the rest of these are going to be listed locally and probably sold. Now I do sell my comics and ship them all across Canada, but I do also ship to the United States. So if anybody's interested in these comics or anything else that I have purchased, let me know. And I can kind of try to see how much it will cost me to ship them and we can agree on a price. The only thing I tend to do is when it's not sold on eBay, I tend to only ship and sell within Canada because I can do an e-transfer. In the US, I don't usually accept any of that currency and I do not use PayPal because I'm not trying to get ripped off or people think that I'm going to rip them off. That's why I don't use PayPal as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will show you guys in the future. I have the Avengers West Coast, the Avengers uh, What If Comics, Fantastic Four, and a bunch of other things. So I'll see you guys in more comic videos in the future. Please take care. Peace.